Hey everyone, we really need to talk about history. How many women did you learn about in your history classes at school? Take a second to think about it. Were any of them women of color? In general, how many people of color did your history textbooks mention? Probably not that many. But apart from school, there's plenty of other ways that we find out who matters in history. But what about other places like the internet? You know how sometimes Google will change the logo on its homepage to celebrate holidays and an important person's birthday? Google doodles. Those are another way we learn about history. Well, from 2010 to 2013, the Google homepage celebrated 445 historical figures. Of those 445, only 77 were women. 368 were men. 329 of those doodles celebrated white people. That's 74%, nearly three quarters. So why does this matter? Well, because here's the thing. When a group of people keeps telling you that they've created everything important in the world and then keeps you from the tools that would prove otherwise, it begins to make sense that those people are in charge of everything. It's their world after all, and they're just kind enough to let you live in it. So Google, Spark Movement is asking that you do something about this problem. We want a public commitment to improving the awful imbalance in your doodles. Because in the nine years that it took Google Doodles to acknowledge the existence of women of color, plenty of little girls of color were going through school and learning that only white men have done anything significant. And when all you hear is about other people's achievements, how are you supposed to believe that you can do the same? We want a general awareness of the role that we've played in building this world. We want Google to doodle us. The women, people of color, queer individuals, and trans individuals whose contributions constantly get ignored. We want Google to doodle our inventors, our artists, our heroes, our past.